Good morning, guys. It's 6.30 a.m. and this horrible thing happened. This morning at 4.30, Sam and I were, whew. No, my light is 7.45. Sam and I were rudely awakened yeah. by the power going out. So it, Sam's just saying it's gonna come back on at 7.45. So we have another hour and 15 minutes. Guys, I don't want it to go out. Yeah. Just wait, my phone's turning off. They are loving the power adage. We are up early. I'm driving with Sam to work today, and then I'm going to drive home. I have not driven that far in a long time because he's always here, so he always drives me, and I'm kind of freaked out. You're always a pain in the butt in the car. Oh, I'm a pain in the butt in the car? Why do you say that? In the winter? Why? <gasps> Yeah, I am a nutcase because I am afraid. I don't want to die in the car and I don't want to kill well, anybody and I want my kids to live. Okay. Now, you got to watch my <gasps> flashlight. Whoa! Oh, I thought the power was coming back on. Nope. Yeah, no heat, nothing. It's going to be cold. Actually, it's supposed to be 5 degrees or something today. So, all right, you ready to go? No, guys, look. Look at the plain dining yep. room light. Look at it. Look. Now watch my light. Wow, your light is good. Can you guys tell the difference? Okay, do it again. No light from Gabby's phone, and then Gabby's phone lights that place right up. Ah, oh, coffee. Gabby and I are looking for some sticks. It's only seven o'clock in the morning. Oh, look at that squirrel. Can you see white part on No. Oh yeah, lots of pregnant mamas, huh? Yeah. We just saw a squirrel over there. No, she's on the tree. Mom, she's climbing okay. on the tree. We just saw a squirrel over there and she has like serious hair missing. Lots of babies. All right, so whoa, we're walking through all this guck and muck, looking for branches. Hmm. Look, over here, over here's a lot of branches. It's gonna be crazy. Your mud. I found the one for me. Oh, good. Get those. Look at those. Perfect ones. one for me. Oh, that's not big enough. You need one. Oh, man. This yard is full of mud. That's a good one. That's a good one. We just have to break them down. That's a good one. Oh, what a mess, though. You are right, sister. I need I one more. That there's all That's this. a good one right over there. Can you grab that one? What one? Right here. No. What's this one? Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. I'll have to cut these down somehow. Washing all the mud off our boots. There we go. All right, let's go. It's so funny, it's seven o'clock now, we're home, we made it home, and the girls are so excited to be home and not be able to do anything. They're like, hey, let's just hang out, let's watch a movie, let's watch Floor House. And I'm like, yeah, I don't think it's gonna work out. So we are home, it's still morning, the power's back on, and we got some heat going, finally, so we can be warm. We didn't actually get cold. Um, I'm making breakfast. The girls. <laughs> Gabby's a flicker. <laughs> I went, <laughs> <laughs> and then I flipped. Oh. Like, she went, she went like oh. this. <laughs> 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 Alright, so obviously some crazy girls in the house. Crazy girls. Oh, show her our oh dance. yeah, show them your dance. Okay, this is our dance that we did. One, two, three, four. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. <laughs> crazy. for them. Anyway, we got crazy girls in the house. We got Sylvie and her friend are upstairs playing. Gabby and her friend are downstairs playing Lego. Uh-oh. Oh, help me up! Help me up! We got it all set up there. And I am making myself some We're eggs. Do you guys want eggs? Flicker. Gabby's no. vacuum flicker. <laughs> vacuum flicker? Oh. Table flicker. <laughs> she keeps on flicking the table off. 
<laughs> the big girls are proven to be a lot more wild than the little girls. The little girls are upstairs quietly playing like little princesses. These guys are like little teenagers. <laughs> like little teenagers. What are you doing? Crazy teenagers in the house. That's what I should have said. All right, we are headed downtown. I got all the girls with me and they're running. Anyway, we're headed downtown. We're gonna go and see if we can find some more craft stuff and we're on the lookout for one more good stick, just in case. And when we get back, we're gonna do our craft. I can hardly wait for you guys to see it. My hair looks like this because I want to dye my roots tonight and I don't like to put any product in my hair or style it the day that I'm going to um, dye it. So that's why it's gonna look like this all day. I apologize in advance, it's driving me crazy. If it's driving you crazy, it's driving me more crazy. Anyway, the girls are in the other room watching videos on their iPads and I'm getting our craft ready. So this is what we're making. We got these little chalkboard things. We're gonna glue them on the middle of our stick like this. So we have just a big long stick and I cleaned it off the best that I can. I'm gonna put these little hooks all the way along, probably maybe two on each side or I don't know, three on each side or something. And then we're going to decorate it and paint it and then when it hangs up, it'll have rope on it and it'll hang up on the wall and you can hang your jewelry on it. Got our paint going on. Sophie is painting. Hey, mom, don't move that. Sorry, honey. She's mom, painting hers she's blue and silver. Oops. Sing a string. We used this fat, no, this uh, 3D paint, and it turned out kind of hard to paint. Although, Brianna, yours is looking good. You might have to let it dry and then do it again, let it dry and then do it again. Um, Kara, yours is looking good oh, too. Can Purple. I wash this one? Yeah, sure. Purple. Sure, I can wash it. All right, you guys, we're making lunch, and we are making grilled cheese and a fruit plate. Sophie, what kind of fruit do we have? Watermelons. What are these? No watermelon. Grapes. Strawberries. Strawberries, oranges, and grapes. What? And? Cantaloupe. And what? Cantaloupe. Cantaloupe? Cantaloupe. Can cantaloupe, yeah, that's right. Cantaloupe, not cants. Is like, it? Not yeah. cantaloupe. cantaloupe. It is, it's cantaloupe. I want to try another one. Cantaloupe. It's not cantaloupe, it's Remember, cantaloupe. Try another one. All right, go ahead, try it. All right, I got some grilled cheese ready here. Let's get started. All right, I need help with something. For years now, for like at least a good two years, whenever I make something like a grilled cheese sandwich and I use regular bread that has wheat in it, it's all soft and flimsy and really doughy. So this is gluten-free bread, grilled cheese. So when I make it, it's like super crunchy and it firms up. But when I make gluten-free, I mean regular gluten, I can't get it to get hard. It just gets soggy and mushy in the middle. What am I doing wrong? Is it, like I noticed that wheat, since, they, since wheat has been changing recently, in recent years, it has gotten much more soggy and soft, which is one of the reasons why I hate it. But is that the only reason or am I doing something wrong? Can you, when you make grilled cheese, is it like firm and hard if you fry it, not if you put it in the oven. I know it's better if you put it in the oven. Um, but am I doing something wrong? The problem with play dates is that you end up cleaning, follow them around, following them around all day and just cleaning up after them. But anyway, this is our final product and I'm super excited by how they turned out. So this is what it is. This is how it looks. Isn't that pretty? This one's Gabby's here. So basically you hang it up. See, it's got a rope there. You hang it up and she can write on the chalkboard in the middle and she's got four little hooks and it's all embellished and she did it all herself. And she'll hang it on her wall in her room and she's got some place to hang all of her necklaces. We are headed to the eye doctor, taking Sophie to the eye doctor. We didn't vlog it on Friday because we were still on our break. But Gabby went to the eye doctor on Friday and her eyes were... What were your eyes? More than better. Amazing. Yeah, they were perfect. Gabby has perfect eyes. I've never even ever had a... Uh, inkling that there'd be anything wrong with Sophie's eyes. She's always had good vision, Bye. so we're just gonna go and double check. I hope that I get glasses. You do? Yeah. That's so funny. I said to the eye doctor, I have five kids. I'm like blind, as blind as you can get. And I've had glasses since I was just uh, almost Gabby's age. Actually, I think I was eight, almost okay, nine. Mom. Just I've like, done the note. and not one of my kids wear glasses. Mom. It's just crazy to me. So we're in the parking lot and uh, at, Walmart. at Walmart and somebody parked in two spots. So I couldn't park there, obviously. So Gabby wrote, Gabby wrote this nice note and it says, yeah. Thank you for parking in my spot. You 
just won the idiot reward. <laughs> <laughs> reward. <laughs> funny. It's funny. I don't know how to say it. It's so funny. Um, when we went to Walmart, there were no handicapped parking spots. Sam has a handicap sticker because he has knees of a 90 year old. Anyway, it was a sports injury. Anyway, so um, anyway, when we went there, there were no parking spots. And Gabby, er, and when we came out, this guy parked in two handicapped spots. He parked right down the middle line of two handicapped sparks, spots. And Sam said, oh, what a dummy. Like, that's terrible. <laughs> So then when we got back to the car, Gabby wrote that note and when I read it, I just couldn't stop laughing. That was so funny. I'm gonna keep it for next time when I need it. All right, how are your eyes doing? Good. Seem pretty good? She wants glasses, but I'm pretty sure she doesn't yeah. need them. So no, oh, it's snowing. So no glasses for Sophie. Perfect eyes. He told me, the eye doctor told me this story about last year, last week he had back-to-back -back patients, two 11-year-old girls. First one needed glasses and she cried and cried and cried when he told her that she needed glasses. The second girl came in after that girl and she did not need glasses and she wanted glasses so badly that she left in tears. <laughs> she said, he said she had her hands bolted to the sides of the chair and wouldn't leave because she wanted glasses. She wanted a prescription. Mom, it's so can I funny. Get fake glasses? You don't need glasses. Be thankful. That's what he said. Be thankful you don't need them. You know that notification that you get on Facebook that says eight years ago today, six years ago today, and then it shows you pictures? Well, eight years ago today, Gabby looked like this. Honestly, she looked like, a, like this. She was 10 months old. She started walking when she was eight months old. She looked like that. And there she was. Can you believe it? I don't know if seeing pictures like that is good for me. I have baby fever so bad. I mean, obviously I don't want another baby, but I want another baby. And it's just terrible. This is just terrible, terrible. Where should we hang this? Perfect. Maybe you should put it in this one. Looks good, so. I love this part. Yeah, it looks good. Anyway, I'm gonna end today's vlog. I'm gonna go and dye my roots. I, pick, I picked a lighter color this time. I alternate usually, and when it starts to get warmer out, I go lighter, so that's what I'm gonna do tonight. So tomorrow, I'll be a whole new woman. I can finally style my hair. This has been driving me insane all day. Sylvia's been so whiny. I don't even know what's wrong with her. I swear she's sick. She's not usually whiny like that. But it could be that we stayed up late every single night on the weekend and she's just grouchy. Um, so I'm going to end today's vlog and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>